Today I effed up by destroying the entirety of my family for only $99. We've all been seeing the recent craze of DNA testing and whatnot, so my dad and I decided to jump in the bandwagon, and we bought two from 23andMe. We got our results back a few days ago and I went into the DNA relatives section to check out my matches. At the top it listed my dad as only sharing 29.2% DNA with me and being predicted to be a half-brother, which is impossible. This didn't make sense to me since we also shared a paternal haplogroup, and we just look so alike, so he was definitely my father. My cousin also had taken the test a while back and she shared 24.6% with me, also predicted to be my half-sibling. We're supposed to share around 12%, being first cousins. I couldn't think of a genetic relationship that would explain what I was seeing and I had doubts in the accuracy of the percentages, so I made this post on our slash 23andMe, asking for help. Basically, the shared percentages are extremely accurate and highly unlikely to be false. The only realistic explanation for what I was seeing was that my uncle, my cousin's father and my dad's brother, is my father. Reality hit me in the face like a flying bag of bricks. All the dots lined up and I felt a sense of loss. I sat in my room for an hour just in shock and then I had a feeling of anger come over me. I needed some answers. Without even thinking, I rushed out of my room and confronted my mother downstairs. My mom is a businesswoman and is often away on business trips. She had no idea my dad and I had done one of these tests since she was away on a trip and just got back. My mother and I never had a traditional relationship. She was always focused on her work, and my dad ended up mostly raising me. My irrational self didn't even sugarcoat it. I asked her if she cheated on dad with Uncle David, name changed for obvious reasons. I have never seen the color drain from someone's face so quickly. She looked dumbfounded and then mumbled. What kind of question is this? Of course not. I told her everything. The test, percentages, DNA matches, all of it. Shit hit the fan. My mom fell to the ground crying, begging me not to tell dad. I left her there and went back into my room. I called my cousin, now half-sibling, and told her everything. She ended the call screaming. Dad, now uncle, then came home and stumbled into my room asking what's wrong with mom. I told him everything too. He didn't say anything after calming down. He left the room and I locked the door. For the next few hours, I heard my entire family fall apart outside my door. My parents got into a heated argument, and my grandparents rushed over to see what was going on. My aunt-in-law and David showed up shortly later, and I'm pretty sure I heard my dad and David get into some physical fight. Utter chaos. I feel like shit. It's not my fault, but I can't help feeling that this is all because of me. If I had spent my f***ing birthday money on something else, none of this would have happened, but another part of me is glad to know the truth. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't even know what the outcome was. The only noise I hear in the house now is the occasional sobbing coming from my mother, and I sure my dad is out of the house. EFF my life. I eventually left my room, called my dad and he was actually at the hospital with my grandmother. She couldn't handle the situation and had a heart attack right when she went home. I knew my mother was still in the house, but I left her there again, without saying a word and went to the hospital. I got to the hospital, saw my grandmother. She's in stable condition and then sat down with my dad to talk. First thing we told each other was that this situation didn't change our relationship. He was still my father and I was still his son. I got the confirmation of my dad and David getting into some altercation dad told me he beat him up really bad. My mother had told my dad that she was drunk and David raped her. The only reason she had not told anyone was out of fear of destroying my father's family. Dad then suggested going to the police. She refused and then started to slightly change her story, making my dad doubt her claim. That's when David and everyone else came over. David claimed my mother was lying to save her own ass, and that they had consensual sex. As of now, my dad and I have no idea who to believe. He says his relationships with my mother and David had always been good. He's not sure what to do. 
David's wife is filing for divorce since this occurred after they were married. My cousin is holding up all right, although she's still pretty shaken up. My dad and I have been staying with my grandparents for the past week until we figure out what to do. That's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the commenters have to say. First comment. The only person at fault is your mother and uncle. She and him are the ones who cheated and lied. You don't need to feel guilty about exposing their guilt. Also, your real dad is the guy who raised you, not the guy whose genes are more similar. Next comment. You did nothing wrong. Your mom and uncle slash biological father messed up. Instead of coming clean they said nothing for 19 years. I agree with a lot of people on here. Definitely let your proper dad know you're still on his team. As for your mom, I don't know. Either way it's a wild ride and I hope there's a happy ending eventually. Another comment. As cliche as it sounds, therapy is probably a good idea for you and your dad. This is a pretty heavy situation to digest. The fact that you and your dad have already established that you don't want this to change your relationship is a really positive sign. He is your dad and you are his son, despite what a DNA test says. Obviously, it's up to you guys to decide how to proceed with your mom and your uncle. I think your mom needs to be completely honest about her relationship with David, if she wants any chance at reconciliation. At the very least, she owes everyone the truth. Final comment. You didn't cause any of this. You uncovered it. It needed to come out eventually, though I'm really sorry that things turned out the way they did, especially in regards to your grandma. She didn't deserve that heart attack at all. If anything, your biological dad deserved getting the shit kicked out of him. Who does that to their brother? I'm also really sorry for your half-sister. Her parents' marriage disintegrated in a matter of hours, unannounced. Though if anything, the two of you may form a closer bond over time, if anything positive is to come of the situation. Thank you for listening and watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I would love to read about what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.